Good morning everyone and um, happy Easter or happy Sunday. Hope everyone is well and um, I have like a really sore throat. I don't know why I woke up. It's really sore but um, it was okay last night so I'm just going to try and drink loads today. Um, yeah, hope everyone is feeling good. So I made this Easter bunting, I will jump up on my bed. It's been in my room for like a week, but I'm gonna move it in the living room. Um, the Easter bunting is now in the living room. Um, so you can see this on my craft Instagram. If anyone wants to go and have a look, I will put it in the comment in the description below and it's so easy to make um so you just need fat quarters or um any kind of cotton you can use like old clothes um and then you just get a stencil offline or i just drew it first hand and then um, draw it on paper and then you cut out the paper and then put pin that to the um fat quarters and then just cut around it really and then I had some embroidery cotton so I used that and then I pinned both sides of the um, stencil on there and then um, just sew sewn it together so yeah so I'm quite pleased with that I was gonna make some more I'm gonna make one for my friend's birthday um, with just like different um, pictures on so if you keep following me that's next month so you'll be able to see that yeah all, all around my house I've just got like loose old craft stuff that I've done I'll show you so I made those two so I pulled them up the hooks are already there look at me and then I made that and I also made that um, oh this is my Easter card from my mum so she always gets me an Easter card which is dead sweet bless her so at least it feels a little bit easier. So yeah, today I'm just going to stitch, which I will show you guys in a minute. I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm like proper slurring. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna do that and then just watch films and make some cornflake cakes. And so I've been doing this for two years. So like now that we're in lockdown, I'm just finishing everything, all my projects. It's not really Eastery, but I guess it is kind of because it's a bit. These are going to be like the most pathetic um, corn flakes cakes because I don't actually have much, much chocolate in there. But I just wanted to show you these Skittles that I got for Christmas that I've not opened yet. Um, obviously, I'm going to use them on top instead of mini eggs because I couldn't buy any mini eggs. So these are for five. So, um, okay. So the cornflake cakes were a bit of a fail. Um, one, well, I didn't have the um muffin paper things, muffin. What are they called? anyway the things that you put them in and um so i was just putting them on parchment paper which is fine but they've kind of gone everywhere and the skittles are white let me show it's you because obviously they're pride ones it says only one rainbow matters this pride give the rainbow take the rainbow so i'm guessing it's like everyone is the same but i wanted them to be colorful so here are the nests um so yeah the eggs don't look very good to be honest but it's fine um and i dropped half the stuff on the floor look at that one that one only gets one egg because that's not very good but i i had loads of chocolate left so i all chucked some more in and apparently it wasn't enough but it'll taste fine won't it but yeah i mean they taste nice Mm. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god, guys, Ant is on TV. If you've not seen this, you need to watch it. Um, I watched it all the time as a child, and it's so good. Basically, this um 
and pretends to be a soldier. Um, and I think he like falls in love with one of the guy, one of the girls. Um, but yeah, it's just so good. And like, obviously, when you're a kid, you don't really think about it. But when you're older, it's actually how ants um, form their little colonies and stuff. It's dead cute. So you should definitely go and watch that. And then after this, Hop is on. So I'm going to watch that. I think TikTok is literally taking over my life, especially in isolation. Well, I only got it in isolation, but is anyone else feeling the same? Because I just feel like I am addicted and I can't stop watching and going down the For You page and just watching everyone's videos. And literally, I can just spend hours on that and I think I need to get a life. I thought I'd show you guys um, what I think of my Easter egg. So I got the no mo is it no mo no mo vegan caramel and sea salt egg. Um, it was buy one get one free. So I wish that I actually got the other one. There's a pink one. I think it's like raisin and something. So I wish I'd got one of each. But I might go back and see if there's some in sale because there's loads left. Like they've sold out everywhere. I wanted to get this on um, online on Holland and Barrett which was two for £10, but everything was sold out, like all the chocolate, all the Easter eggs, um, the mini egg packets, um, so yeah, um, I got this £6, my one got one free, so I was quite lucky actually, um, that whole under barrel was sold out. So yeah, I'm gonna try it, I've not tried this chocolate yet, so I thought I'd try it and show you guys what I think of it, so I'm excited. So I have opened up it. I've opened up the egg, which wasn't that hard. Normally, like you have to smash eggs, but this one was fine. So I'm gonna try. I think um, I've seen a picture of the pink one, and that one had like bits in it, like on the inside. It had like loads of stuff. So mine doesn't. So yeah. Mmm. It's very caramelly. Car yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna eat some more. This will probably be gone by today, but like I said, I've got two. But, um, mm. and what I find is, normally, like normal chocolate, I always used to make me feel really sick. But vegan chocolate, you can just eat loads and loads of it. Cause it's not sickly at all, which is really good. So yeah, my verdict on that is that it's really nice. Um, I was gonna say like salted caramel is um, sometimes quite strong and sometimes that nice. Not that nice, but this is not salted caramel, is it? No. Sometimes I literally don't know what I'm saying in these videos. It's salted, no, it's not. It's caramel and sea salt, so yeah. That's nice, that. So I've seen these bars everywhere, especially in Holland and Barrett, but um, to be honest, I don't really buy that much vegan chocolate. I just do without. Oh, that's hard. Mmm. That's bad. That's really caramelly. You can taste, like, the salt quite a bit but it's not like it's not like salty which is weird it just reminds me of salted caramel but yeah it's really nice so I'm glad that I tried that one but I really want to try the other one now the reason I didn't get it was because I'm not a huge fan of raisins even though I'll eat them now um but yeah I guess the raisins would have just been in the bar so I should have really just got it but in mind so yeah let me know what vegan easter eggs you got and i hope that you enjoy them i don't know where today has gone today has gone so fast um i've not really done anything interesting just watched loads of films um shrek was on tv as well and i forgot how funny that was because normally i have like my food on me when i'm watching a film and i don't really pay attention but today um because i was doing my cross stitching i was really watching it so that was really funny and now i'm just watching bumblebee so i'm just cooking a roast dinner for my tea this stuff i've had this for ages um like literally over a year 
I was just checking the date. It goes out of date in October. Um, so I had this for Christmas one time and it is a nut roast. A lot of people are like, mm, nut roast. And usually I am. But I had this one last time. You can use like sausages or anything on a roast dinner really. So I was just going to say that. Um, and then I'm just going to leave you guys here. Because I'm not doing anything else tonight. Um, just watching films and eating my easter egg i haven't actually eaten that much chocolate today and i already feel like oh like i don't really want any more i don't actually think i'm that much of a big chocolate fan really <laughs> so yeah hope you guys have had a lovely day and hope you still have some chocolate saved for tomorrow if you don't have chocolate then that's fine too um hope you guys are staying safe and staying inside